So OpenAI just announced their image model API and Gumloop just made that model available inside their workflows. So in this Gumloop workflow right here, all I had to do was enter a product image in my interface here and it generated all of these Facebook ads for me using the OpenAI image generator automatically. Not only that, it stored them in Google Drive for me. So what, what it's doing is it's taking this Ridge wallet URL. That's the only input I gave it. And it's going to generate these Facebook ads based on the prompting, based on scraping the Ridge website. And then again, using that new OpenAI image API. So if we look at these images that were generated, again, with very minimal prompting, I think they're pretty good. But this was a with a single input. It was just a URL. I didn't give any information about the brand or anything. It was just a simple simple flow inside of Gumloop. So I want to show you in this video how to build it out step by step. And not only that, unlike N8N, we don't need any HTTP requests. We don't need to call the OpenAI API manually. We don't need to do any file conversions manually. Gumloop has this integrated natively, so it's super easy to use. So let me give you an overview of this flow, and then we will build it out step by step inside of Gumloop. So I'm starting this with an inter interface, which means that I can interact with this flow with a clean looking slate just like this. So I built this inside of Gumloop. I'll show you how to set this up. And again, the only input that's required here is a URL to a product, right? So in this example, I used this Ridge wallet. I added it as the input here, and then I hit submit and run flow. And now what that's gonna do is kick off the automation over here. So it's gonna send that URL to an AI web research node. And what this node is gonna do is it's gonna research the product, right? Specifically, I'm prompting it to get the product name as well as the product description. So this node is gonna visit the URL and look at all of the content and get back a description for the product that we're gonna feed later on in the workflow. Now, that web research node is going to pass into my prompt generator. So I have an ask AI node here, and what this node is gonna do is come up with the prompts for the AI image generation step, all right? So this is a prompt creator. It's gonna take the context from the previous step the product name, the product description, and it's gonna use that to come up with a prompt, all right? Now, we're gonna feed that prompt into the generate image node. So as I mentioned, Gumloop just spun up the new image model inside of their node. So all of this is native. There's no hacking APIs like it is in N8N. It's super easy to do. So what we're doing is that we're feeding the prompt that the AI created, and we're gonna pass that into the image API, right? Which is this response here, and I'm just requesting four images. Finally, after the images are created, I'm just gonna have them sent into a Google Drive folder, so I have them for later, and I can access them in here. So that's the workflow. It's really easy to set up in Gumloop, so let's do it step by step. All right, let's build this out step by step. If you want the template, the free template to this workflow, be sure to join the free school community that's linked below this video, and you can get all of my templates for free in my free community. All right, so I'm inside of Gumloop. We're going to create a new flow from scratch. Now, the way that this is going to work is we are gonna start with an interface, okay? So this is a way to interface with your workflow in a clean environment, right? Without triggering it in Google Sheets, without triggering it in Slack, you can kind of trigger it natively inside of Gumloop. So I'm gonna start with an interface over here, and then I'm gonna click Edit Interface, right? So we can do a couple of things here. Let's give this a title, so I called mine Ecom product image generator. You can give it a description if you want, but what we're gonna do here is configure the inputs, right? And, and in this example, we're just using one input, which is the URL. So for that, I am gonna use a text field, and for the label, I'm gonna call this product URL. And if you want, we can change this helper text here, or the default value if you want, or the placeholder as well. So for the placeholder, we can just do enter URL like that. So when the user interfaces with this interface, again, all they need to do is enter the product URL. Now we could upload an image header, we could have it generated with AI, 
So I can say something like, this is an e-commerce product image generator. Then I can hit generate. It's gonna take 20 seconds and then Gumloop is gonna generate an AI image that will appear as the header for this interface. So we can select this as our banner. You know, it's just for internal use, so it doesn't have to be perfect. We can upload an icon if we want. So for shopping, I use this. And then we're pretty good here. Actually, we could change this to e-com, let's call it Facebook ad image generator. So again, you, you could upload your own image. You don't have to use it. It doesn't matter. It's just for internal purposes here. But this is how you set up your interface. You know, the main functionality, of course, are the fields that you're gonna require to start the workflow. But this is how our workflow is gonna trigger inside of Gumloop, okay? So I'm gonna click return to workflow. And when I do, I can see that we're gonna kick off with the interface. So let me just save this and rename this. All right, so our first step is good to go. All right, the next thing that we're gonna do is we want the AI to go out and visit the URLs of our products and pull in some information, right? Pull in a good description about the products, the name about the product, because we're gonna need that information when we're generating our prompt or our AI is generating our prompt to create the image, okay? So there's no manual effort here. We're gonna have AI go out, visit these web pages, and pull in a description. So in order to do that, we're gonna use a AI web research step. So I'm gonna come up into my node library and the AI web research node is right over here. So let me drag that onto my canvas here. And now you'll notice actually with this node, there's no input immediately. And that's because we need to actually give it a prompt and then based on the prompt, the node will kind of generate its own inputs. It'll make more sense in a second. But what we need to do here is give it a prompt, right? So what do we want this node to do? And again, this is basically an AI web assistant. You're gonna tell it to go do things on the internet, okay? Mm -hmm. But we need to give it a prompt. So I have a prompt on my clipboard and it's gonna say, visit the provided product URL. So this comes from the previous step and extract the product name and product description from the page, okay? And then I'm gonna click generate inputs and outputs. Now, based on my prompt, it's going to come up with the inputs and outputs by itself. So we'll give this a second. All right, and so here we go. We can see the input here is now the product URL. So it knew based on my prompt, hey, in order to perform this task, I need the product URL. So what I'm gonna do is drag the output from the interface to the input here, okay? And now I have that product URL available as an input to drag here, okay? So I'm gonna drag this product URL from the previous step into the input section. Now my prompt is looking good. You can see Gumloop has pre-populated the product URL placeholder here, and it's giving me four outputs to use in the next step. But now our AI web research node is configured, so it's gonna take the URL from the previous step, from the interface, and it's gonna go out, visit the URL, and, pre and perform research on the page based on my prompt. All right, so what is the next step? Now that we will have details about our product, what I wanna do is create a prompt for the image generator, but I don't wanna create the prompt myself. I want AI to create the prompt based on the research that was done in the previous step. So we're gonna use AI to come up with a prompt for the image step after that. So for that, I'm gonna use an Ask AI node. I'm gonna to come to my library, click on Ask AI. All right, so this is basically like you're chatting directly with Claude or, or ChatGPT. So let me drag this down and I am gonna drag the output from the previous step to the input to this step. And we can rename this node, by the way, prompt generator. So we know exactly what this node is doing. But once I drag the output from the previous step here, I now have a couple of values that I can use in this step, right? We have the product name specifically in the product description that it's gonna be grabbing from the previous step. So now I need to prompt this node to come up with a prompt. And that'll make more sense once I paste my prompt in here. All right, so what I have here is, and, and ChatGPT came up with this prompt 
off offline here. It's you're a world class prompt engineer. Your task is to take these inputs, okay? So the product name from the previous step and the product details from the previous step. So what I need to do is provide that information to the AI, right? What is the product name? Well, this is a variable or a value from the previous step that our AI web research went out and found, right? So I'm going to drag product name here. And then the other piece of information that I need to provide this step are the product details, right? So again, AI is going out and it's fetching the product details for this specific product. And that's a variable that I can just drag onto the canvas here, right? And that's going to be product description. So I'm going to drag that on here, right? So this is a prompt and then I'm providing the context within the prompt itself. And again, I'm not going to read this entire prompt. Again, you can find this template inside my free school community, but I'm basically prompting it to come up with a prompt for the image itself and a prompt for the headline. And then it's going to kind of superimpose the headline over the image to come up with a Facebook ad. So again, this step is to generate a prompt for the next step, which is the image generation. I'm going to leave the model at GPT-41 mini, but that's really all there is to, to this step. We've got the prompt, we've got the variables, which are the product name and the product description. And now we're ready to pass this on to the image generation node. All right, the next step is really easy because Gumloop makes it easy because they have the image generation, the generate image node natively integrated into Gumloop. I saw a different video that was doing this with N8N and it could not have been more complicated going to the API docs with OpenAI, using all these different nodes to transfer files and call API requests. We don't have to do any of that with Gumloop, which is why it's the best AI workflow builder on the market. So I'm gonna select generate image, okay? So this node does all of the coding for us. Now I'm gonna drag this below the prompt step. And again, this step is super easy. All we're doing is dragging the prompts right here into the generate image node. And now I'm gonna drag the response from the previous step into the prompt box because the response, right, from this node is the prompt. We're prompting it to come up with a prompt. So its output or its response is the prompt. Okay, so we're gonna drag its response here. So this is the prompt for the image model, okay? Now you can select how many images you want. I'm gonna do four for quality. I'm gonna do high. I haven't really tested the, the difference, but this is all we need to do to configure this step. We have our prompt, which is the previous step, four images, quality high, and now we're set up to generate the images, and the next step, we're just gonna push them to Google Drive. All right, so to send these images into Google Drive for us, I'm gonna click the node library, search for Google Drive, and you want Google Drive File Writer, okay? So let's drag that one onto our canvas, and let's connect the output, which are the images, right, from our previous step to the input for Google Drive. Now, one very important thing you need to do here that I did not realize the first time I was setting this up is this use link checkbox here or slider, you wanna put that as yes, because the output from the previous step is gonna be a URL, not a file itself. So just make sure you have use link checked to yes. Now you're gonna to need to set up your Google account with Gumloop if you have not done that yet. So you're gonna go into here and just pick a random folder that you want these files to go into. So I've selected OpenAI images here as my folder. You just need to select a Google Drive folder. Now, what we need to do here are a couple of things. So number one is a file name. Names you wanna give these files. So I'm just gonna call this Gumloop test. And then the key thing here are is the file URL, right? And this is gonna be the value from the previous step, right? So the previous step is outputting the images and they're getting outputted as file URLs, not files themselves. So we're gonna drag the output from the previous step into file URL like this. It's gonna automatically turn on loop mode because there's more than one file. But other than that, this looks good for testing, okay? Again, just to rehash here, we're taking an input in our interface and we can open that up, I think. Let me just zoom in. So here's our interface that we created. We're gonna give it a product URL 
and it's gonna flow through here. The web research node is gonna do research on it. Then we're gonna use AI to come up with a prompt based on the description of the product. Then Gumloop generate image node will use the OpenAI API to generate the four images. And then we're gonna store those four images inside of Google Drive. All right, so let's test this workflow, see if we made any errors, see if this works. So let's use a different product. We'll use AG1, this AG1 pouch, all right? So I just need to grab this URL. I need to go into my interface here and I'm gonna submit the URL and I'm gonna hit submit and run flow. Now, fair warning, this will take uh, several minutes for two main reasons. One is the AI web research step takes a few minutes. Again, this is an AI that's gonna take the URL, crawl the URL, come back with a bunch of information. That alone takes a few minutes. Then we have the OpenAI API to generate the images itself, probably takes a minute or two. So I'm gonna pause this video and I'll come back in just a sec. And actually what you can do is, if you wanna see the run happening in real time, you can come into the flow and go into previous runs here. And now when I open this, it's gonna open this in a new tab and it's gonna show me everything that's happening in this run step-by-step. Step. So it took my input and it, it completed that step, obviously, because that took two seconds. And now it's on the AI web research node. Again, this will take several minutes, although it took, all right, maybe not, a minute and six seconds. Uh, that was pretty quick. So it finished that step, all right? And now it sent it to the prompt generator. And that step looks like it completed. So it generated the prompt for me based on the AI web research. And now it's passing that information over to the generate image, which is the OpenAI API. And at any point, you can click see all inputs and outputs, and you can get an idea of what your nodes are putting back or outputting back to you. So you can see the AI web research node gave me a product name and it gave me a product description based on the URL that I gave it, right? So any node you can check in the run what's going on. Right, so if we wanna look at the prompt generator while OpenAI is still working, again, we can click on that. And again, the prompt generator is using the product name, it's using the product description and the prompt that I gave it. And now it's coming up with the prompt for the image generation. So this is the full prompt that's being sent to the OpenAI API to create the four images. Of course, you can check or you can tweak my directions and my prompts in, in every single step here if you want different outputs. All right, so it looks like it has completed, right? It's generated the images, which I can see below here, and it's written it to Google Drive. So there's a couple of ways you can check your images. Let's see if I can do it within the flow. So kickstart wellness with one daily drink. I mean, that's a pretty good result, although it's kind of coming out of the bag like that with very minimal prompting here. So there's one image, kickstart wellness with one daily drink. I guess it's using just one headline. I'm not sure why the, the liquid is coming out of the bag like that, but here are the ads that it created for us. Again, this is solved with, with better prompting. You know, I, I took about two seconds to do my prompts just to demo this, but here's the four images they created. Let's go back to the interface over here, and you can also see the images on the interface level as well. So here are those images right here. And now if we go to Google Drive, let's refresh. We should have four Gumloop tests and there they are right there. So those images and those ads were sent directly to my Google Drive folder as well. So there, there's the image, Kickstart Wellness with one daily drink. And here's another one. So again, better prompting will, will get you better results. But for a quick demo, for a quick workflow, I think this shows the potential of using OpenAI's new API within Gumloop for your workflows. The native integration is huge. Make sure to play around with it. Again, you can grab this free template in my free school linked below. Do me a favor, if you enjoyed this content, like the video, subscribe to my channel, and let me know in the comments below what kind of video you wanna see next.